Vegan Deterioration did a video about me and I kind of did a reaction video to that and I was watching the reaction video and I absolutely hate that video that I did that she reacted to and I really wish that was a different video that she reacted to. I've taken that video down, I'm not putting it back up, but as I'm watching this video, I realized just how ungrateful I sounded and I want to get this, I, you know, the, the thought of ungrateful out because when I really look back at my uh, on my past I, but when I'm watching this video the most I ever saw on a scale of me was 422 pounds which is nuts it was at the west side market they had a Toledo you know Toledo the well-known uh weight you know scale makers the most I ever saw at the doctors I'm pointing over to my filing cabinet over there is 405. That's the one I have documented, but I know I saw 422 at the West Side Market. I am between 100 or sorry, 253 and 260 pounds right now, which means I've lost roughly 170, 175 pounds, somewhere in that range over the last however many years since going vegan, okay? Now, I will admit that I did love meat back in the day, and I never got into this for animal rights whatsoever. Not that I have anything against animals, it's just not why I got into it, it just isn't. So, with that being said, whatever amount of weight loss you are, or wherever you are in your plan or existence or whatever it is, Try having as much gratitude as you possibly can, okay? Now this this year, this last two years, but this, this year in particular has been a very turbulent year for me. A lot going on that I don't talk about, a lot going on that I might talk about if it goes certain ways. If it doesn't, I'm just never gonna talk about it. And it's really hard for me, I guess, to have as much gratitude as I would really like just after seeing what has gone on throughout this year. What The one thing that I have gotten out of this year, though, is I've lost about 30 pounds. 30 pounds in four months is actually a pretty good amount of weight to lose, and I can't, I can't complain about it anymore. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's stupid for me to complain. I've lost more weight than any girlfriend I've ever had in my life has never weighed anywhere near as much as I have lost. So I really need to stop complaining about it and just kind of having gratitude towards it, realizing that I actually can move, I can ride bike, I can uh, jump on my seller size or link down below. I can do whatever it is that I want to do. I was walking around the city last night with a camera and people are actually coming up to me now and asking if they can be photographed. It's, it's crazy how this has kind of evolved. And I'm doing all of this, even though I never knew if I would be able to walk again because I had to have my ankle replaced. I didn't know if it was gonna get approved. It ended up being a $42,000 surgery. It did get approved and paid for. There's so many things that have gone on in this last five years that nobody on this channel really knows about. I did talk about it a little in my earlier videos. I haven't talked about it in a long time. The last five years of my life has been insane insane. So my natural go-to is to just complain about things, but I really can't set a good standard on this channel if I'm always complaining. Like if you're somebody, if you're DM DMing me and you've lost like 10 pounds in the last, I don't know, like two months, like congratulations. Like that's a good amount of weight to lose in that amount of time. Really, I mean, if you, on your table, you know, put down, I don't know, uh, 10 pounds of potatoes and look how much potatoes that is. That's a lot of potatoes. Imagine 170 pounds of potatoes on a table and that is what I've lost. Now she wants to talk about, well, if he's craving beef or whatever, I crave all kinds of things. If I ate everything I craved, if I did everything I craved, uh, my life would be even crazier than it has been in the last five years, I will tell you what. So have gratitude for yourself. Give yourself, you know, some kind of credit. Stop beating yourself up all the time. I swear, ever since, I'm like, it's always been kind of bad with beating, beating yourself up. But like ever since this social media has come around, it is so much worse now than it ever was before. It's It's insane. It's insane how hard people are on themselves now after seeing, you know, the quote perfect people. It is, 
like I do photography, it is not hard to get a good angle from somebody and make them look so much different than they really do in life. Or like to go into with these filters nowadays and AI and everything like who even knows what you're looking at anymore. So don't compare yourself to something that could be AI or whatever. It's crazy. So if you if you're on this journey and also you really got to make it about health too. You know, the reason I got on this whole thing is because I ate so much meat and dairy and eggs and whatever and che cheese. I've never really liked cheese all that much. It always smelled funky to me. Uh, you know, but I ate all that kind of stuff that I like completely destroyed my kidneys and my, my liver and, and stuff like that. I still to this day deal with that. I still to this day, if I have like a can of beans, for example, if I have a can of beans in one day, I will smell pretty bad the next day and the next day. And then like three days in a row, I will start smelling like ammonia like I did back in the day. You know, I, I just something I'm always probably going to deal with because I just had to have two to three grams of protein for what was a kilogram or something. I mean, it was an insane amount of calorie or uh, protein that I was eating. It was it was crazy. So anyway, that's one of the reasons I started this channel because I you know I didn't want to see other people have to go through that. Not that anybody's going to listen. I wouldn't have listened either. But I can at least document what I've been through, if nothing else. Because it has not been that great. When you smell like ammonia, when you're puking up stomach acid, when you are so big that you don't even fit any of your clothes anymore, you got to go to big and tall just to get clothes. There's nothing fun about that. There is nothing fun about that whatsoever. So really give yourself some credit, especially if you lost some weight. You got some weight back on. I, I, I see, like, I, I, I'll i have women, too, who DM me. You know, like, I can't believe how big I've gotten. I'm looking at them. I'm like, you're like the size of my leg. What are you talking about? Like, what, what are you going on about? So it's all perception. It's all, you know, what we've seen, what we've heard, what we've been through, and everything like that. I don't even know... It really, you know, other than just wanting to get a little bit of weight off, like, I really... At this point in my life, I'm like, what does it really matter? Like, what does it really matter? I just want to want to get my health online as best as I possibly can. Have as much energy as I can. Like, I still, even, I'm going to be 44 in two weeks, and I still have, like, I work all day. It's ridiculous at this point. I work all day, and I still can work all day. I mean, yesterday, I worked from 9 a.m., 8.30 or 9 a.m. till, like, midnight. It's it's just I've got so much going on right now, and then I wake up and I'm like, oh man, and then I do it again and again and again. And so it's just have some gratitude, have some acceptance for yourself, and just know that no matter how much you complain about something, it's not going to change it. You're going to have to just do that through consistency. And other than that, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? The body is not interested in your Instagram body. It is worried about keeping you alive, and that is it. Anyway, that is the video. Comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.